Wait, this isn't right. I don't understand. Thomas, I um, I guess the last question to answer is, how do I fit into all of this? In your memories and in your mind. I was at your birthday party, Thomas sat there in the garden, you remember? All your friends from the neighbourhood were here. This It doesn't affect everyone in the same way. He was never violent to either of you. But the soul can be crushed. I wanted you to come and live with us across the road. Somewhere I knew you'd be safe. They did care about you though, Thomas. Remember your... It wasn't long till he was consumed by intoxication. He was warned and still he continued. How were you meant to know he was going to go away as well? You just watched him stagger in every evening, always ensuring he got to bed and was safe. You watched from up here, haunting her at St. Paul's Lighthouse. You climbed down and headed there. You went to hide, your father's lamp to light your way. She wasn't happy, and she couldn't be a wife to a drunk. Too many times he came in late. Too many times he just didn't care. They did love each other once, when they were young. He was a romantic, and she fell for him. Running away was the best thing to do. You didn't know who was taking you away or where. A lost soul in a sea of uncertainty. 
frightened and scared. You know, you always were a wonderful artist. Yet, these memories are all yours. Everyone an experience from your life. Some of them we were together and others only you experienced. Lost in your own illness, your mind fought to save as much as it possibly could by creating this confused world of fantasy and reality. These core memories from your childhood, they made you who you are today, traumatic as they are. But it truly was the only way that you could understand who you are as an individual. You're being treated with validation therapy and you're struggling to feel alive. Sat in that leather chair, in that care home, day in, day out. That was the last time I saw you for a very long time. But it wasn't the last time I held your hand. I always wanted to find you, and I did. I did find you, all those years later. It's time we face this. Please, Thomas, sit down. Mr. Fletcher? Mr. Fletcher? Thomas? Hello, it's me, Dr. Redmonds. You want me to sit? Okay, let me just grab a chair. I've bought two of your favourite things today. Sorry, what was that, Thomas? Oh, of course I'll hold your hand. Would you like to see what I've brought you? Let's look at this one first. I think it'll mean a lot to you. Oh, Thomas. Oh, let me wipe those tears. Does this lamp mean something? Can I... uh, of course. Of course you can, here. Did your father give you this lamp, Thomas? Is that why it's important to you? Closer, Thomas, I can't quite hear you. That's not why it's important. Why is it so important? Because... Because my, my wife... She, she kept it for me. For all those years when I was taken away from here. From Pinwheel? Yes, yes. She, I, I want to see her. Thomas, I... When did you last see Jean? I, I, I saw her. I, I'm sure... That, well, uh, you've done very well today, Thomas. I am. Um, I do have another item for you, though. I think this will help you remember. I mean, I hope it will. me to wind it up for you. Okay, here it goes. This, this is so beautiful. I, I wish Jean was here to listen. I wish she didn't Go oh, so soon. So soon. Oh, Thomas. Let's... Let's listen together then, shall we? <laughs> 